Oh, look, I have to uh, get some water, Johnny. Yeah, well, you get me a big bottle. I'm probably going to need it. Okay. How are you? Hi, how are you? Not too bad. I'm playing five or so today. This is the first time in a while. Ooh. Anyway, how are you settling in? Ah, I want to take a run back down to Cashel, bring back some books and photos and old stuff, you know, make it a bit more ours. Well, I'm glad things are working out for you. Ah, it's a little bit strange. Suddenly I'm in Dublin with a job and a flat. Come play five or so with me, settle the old nerves. I'm not nervous. No, of course you're not. Marines. Hmm. I hope you didn't feel like you had to move out of the gaff. You know, because things were awkward between you and I over the whole world thing. Well, your place was always going to be temporary. It was good of you to put up with me as long as you did. Yeah. Well, what about a coffee then? Maybe you know it's half twelve if I can still walk. Cheers. Ah, uh, it's a flat. Fine. Phoebe says it's cosy. Mm, snug, yes. But, you know, it's there, it's handy, everything works. Except the washing machine. You can come over and use ours if you like in the meantime. Absolutely, call over. Thanks, I'll bear it in mind. Listen, I better run. Good luck in your game. Make sure to stretch before yes. and after. Okay, Lord, thanks very much. Right. Love, see you. Bye. So, what do you say? Half 12 Venus? I tell you what, I'm going to be there anyway, so if you get a minute. Sure, if I get a minute. I just need to sit down. Thank you very much. Yeah, Wayne, how are you? <sighs> what are you doing here? Well, Lauren and I have a couple of things to talk about before the IVF. What things? Well, we're, we're supposed to be a couple, so. Yeah. Like, you know, how long we've been married, how we met. Yeah, like, was it in Kilkenny or. Well, why, why would you have to talk about things like that? Because they're going to be chatting to us, you know, trying to get us relaxed. Yeah, we need to get our story straight. Yeah, so, so I was thinking about using, you know, our story, how we met, our wedding, our honeymoon, you know, we can use all that stuff. Yeah, the day Junior was born, yeah. the first day at school, like yeah. Wait, No, you don't need to talk about Junior. No, you just talk about yourselves. But just something about him, just to cover myself. Right. Are you okay? I mean, I didn't know he was coming around, but yeah. Well, that's why Junior's in your mum's. Did, did I not tell you? No. I'm, I'm sorry, my, my head's all over the place. But you look, we can do it in my place. Jane has gone to work, so. No, you can yeah, stay perfect. here. I'm getting some fresh air. Morning. So, I think it's time your old man got back to work. Really? Is it not a bit soon? Yeah. Oh, well. I've been cooped up here for more than a week, haven't I? Well, yeah, but it's appendicitis. It takes more than a week to get mm. over that. <laughs> what are you, a doctor? I feel fine. I think it'll be good. OK, well, you're not a doctor either. To get out and about, not stuck in here. Yeah. Out and about, sure. Go for a walk in the park, go into town. You don't need to come back to Vino's. It's fine. Like, we can handle that. Yeah, I never said you couldn't. And you just haven't killed each other, so. Yeah, so there's no rush. So take a few days. A week. A week? He was in hospital. Yeah, now I'm out. Can we go to the pictures? Say what? For a tree. See, there you go. Good idea, Ruthie. The pictures. Please. Um, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Farah? Hi, it's me, again. Yeah. Everything's fine. Will you give me a call? Thanks. Bye. Why isn't she answering? She's busy. Did you not talk to Fari yesterday? Yeah, three times. Three? <laughs> well, in the morning to see how she was, and then in the afternoon for a chat, and then I phoned her later to tell her that the photos had arrived. Yeah, well, that's why she's not answering you or talking to her too much. Excuse me? She's a grown-up. Her photos are good, though. Mm. Mm, except they're all in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice one. So I hope you're paying this, uh, this lad here Sunday rate. Right? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be paying him that? Relax, relax, I'm joking. Oh, yeah, I'm off to give Verica a first driving lesson. Right. You made your will then. Say to that. All right. Something up, Wayne. Tommy Dillon called around this morning to see Orla. So they get their story straight about you know, the wedding and 
Junior, him being there for the birth. That's ridiculous, why? The first IVF appointment is on Tuesday. You know, in case people at the clinic start asking questions. It's doing me head in. Well, it would. Having Tommy Dillon take over your life. It's bad enough I can't be there for Orla. Now, they're all just fitter, faster, and younger. But of course, I make up for that in skill and experience. And plus, I found them. Right. <laughs> I'm boring you. No, sorry, I have a supplier who's messing me around, and I'm gonna have to get on his case. Yeah, yeah, you have to hassle people, too. I don't have a problem with it. If you don't do your job, I'm on your case. End of story. It's just me. Hey. Hey. I was on my way to feelings when I saw you. Uh, this is for the new flat. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Do you want to come over and have a look? Uh, well, I can't right now, but I'm sure I'll see the general run of things. See you. See you. The general run of things? Is that where we've got to? Everything normal, everybody content, getting on with life? Could he not have faked a bit of enthusiasm coming out of luck, lied about how nice it was? I said it was nice. It is. It's just the house and castle was was in another life. Shut up, married. Flat's grand. It's getting late. It's one o'clock. No, but it's January. The schools are back. And Ellie has to decide what she wants to do. I thought we agreed not to put any pressure on her. Yes, but I, I, I miss Brendan and I want to be with him. I don't want to stay any longer. Okay. Hello. Hi, Peter. You were over at Wayne's this morning. Is there a problem? Well, you and Orla pretended to be a couple, and Wayne, looking at it, it's, uh, well, it's hard on him. What are you saying, Pete? Well, don't call over again. I mean, if you need to talk to Orla, do it somewhere else. Give the guy a break. Hmm. Wayne didn't say anything. Did to me. Well, I'm going to do it all at once, not Wayne. And certainly not you. What's your word, huh? Cyril, you're a star. I really appreciate it. So what do you say? You're about half two on Venus? Great, look forward to seeing you then. Cheers. What? You said that you're going to meet that man. Yeah? But you said that you're going to the pictures. Yeah, but we hadn't decided yet, though, have we? Sounded pretty definite to me. Do you mind? You're gonna be really disappointed, aren't you? Totally. Yeah. Will you stop with the ganging up on me? I mean, he's, he's a friend of mine, an old business contact, and he's a very busy man. And he's made time for me, you know, so I'm not gonna let him down. So he's gonna let you down instead? Would you ever stop? Would you? Look, why don't you take her? Ken? I'm broke. Yeah, well, I pay for your ticket. Well, there's bus fare, there's cinema treats, and you have to go for a burger afterwards. I'm sorry, you what? Yeah, you do, don't you? This is extortion, Mrs. How are you even doing here, love? We're just gonna wait for Tommy, all right? My first driving lesson was on a beach, flat, no people. Steering wasn't an issue, so it was a question of learning to change gear. Oh, Ernica is freaked about changing gear. My second lesson, the day after the beach, was on a little country road. Oh, I changed gear like a champion <laughs> and drove straight into a ditch. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> there I go, what? Uh, number one, driving lessons should be holistic. You teach everything at once. Gears, steering, brakes, not to crash. Sorry, is there a number two then? <sighs> Driving lessons are nerve-wracking for everybody concerned. So you're better removing yourself from them. <laughs> Oops. So, is this about me calling around this morning? No. What do you mean? Pete said you had a problem with it. Pete? Yeah, me and all pretended to be a couple and you told him what was doing your head in. Well, it is. I mean, of course it is. But we, we had an agreement, so we just... Get on with things. I'm sorry, Pete. Shouldn't have said anything to you. So what is this about? Orla was telling me that you're going with the story about the wedding, about being handcuffed to your best man. Yeah. 
we have to. It's easy to remember. Right. Well, I was your best man. What? I'm your oldest mate. We go way back, and, and you asked me to be Junior's godfather, right? What are you talking about? Well, Orla's okay with this, you know? As long as you're happy with it, you know, having a guy there for you in the clinic for support. I just want to be there with you. I know you do. And I want you there. She can't, Wayne. Look, we, we played GAA together or something. Look, I was the fella who was handcuffed to you at the wedding. If you both say it, they're, they're going to believe it. Hi, Dad. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard about Junior. It's terrible. Yeah. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Surprise. <laughs> How is he doing? You're still glove. He's fine. Look, we don't like talking about it. Terribly. Wow, it's great to see you. Sorry for putting in. How are you? Same as ever. Are you back or...? Visiting. A couple of weeks. It's been how many years? Six. Oh, you're in Toronto now, yeah? I'm in Vancouver. We should go for a drink. Absolutely. I'll give you a call, same number. Still, after all these years. But yeah, do that. That'd be great. I'll see you after, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, why don't we go somewhere else? Really? Yeah, we'll get a, a coffee and have a catch-up. Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. You're robbing the shop? The laundress. Washing machine's packed up. Mm. Actually, could you take a look at it for me? Me? Yeah, it could be something simple, like loose wiring or something. You're good at that sort of thing. Yeah, that's true. And you're a jinx. The coffee machine in the hotel. The instructions were in French. Mm. Anyway, would you? Yeah, sure. You can't go now. No. Uh, sorry, we're meeting some friends for lunch. This evening? Lunch, then cocktails, then dancing. Taking up dancing. Yeah, Cristiano's a big fan of salsa. Uh, nice. But look, we'll never get a chance to love him. Great. See you. Yeah. So, you fix washing machines now? Meaning? Why is Moray asking you? Because whenever anything would go wrong in the house, I would fix it. I would try to. Old habits, I guess. Maybe it's time to make new habits. Look, she asked me, what am I going to say? I'm busy. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to help you. Maybe you should get a plumber. Well, that just seems mean. Maybe it's better for more age. Forget the habits. Start a new life. Thanks, Kevin. Right. Thanks. So, Vancouver. Since when? Uh, three months ago. And everything all right? Yeah. What are you working at, then? A restaurant. Sous chef. No? <laughs> and where's your luggage? That pod place. You're not staying there, are you? It's cheap. Just, there's, there's a room in the house. It's free. House? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm living with Jane. Are you serious? Yeah, I know you find that hard to believe, given everything that happened, but... Uh, I guess it's because we have that history together. Life is weird. I get it. I won't be taking this very I mean, suddenly finding out you had this kid I never knew about. So, uh, what are your plans then? And Kenny? Cousins? You gotta go over and see your mother? I did that. I spent a few days in Munich. Now I'm here mostly to get to know my half-brother. When can I meet him? You can't. Obviously, he doesn't know I'm his father. He's only, he's only four. Uh, when are you going to tell him? The kids aren't stupid. I wouldn't leave it too long. I'm not going to tell him. Ever. You're going to pretend it never happened? No. We agreed that the best thing for Junior was that if he believes me, is his father. Or was it the Malloys agreed and you went along with it? Look, we agreed. I don't. Yeah. Well, it's not up to you. He's my brother. 
Maybe you went along with it because you feel guilty. It's the right thing to do. Morally, ethically. Just practically in the world. A child should know who his father is. Wayne Malloy is his father. And he's a good father. He loves the child. And you don't? Enough to give him up. So he's not your brother or half-brother or whatever. He's nothing to you. You got that? So, put out flyers. They're actually loyal to cards. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah? Ten coffees, you get a free coffee. I like it. It's advertising and luring them in. Yeah, plus, nobody ever gets the free coffee. Like, they lose the cards or whatever. Ladies? I thought you weren't coming in. Well, I'm meeting someone, you know, an old, uh, old business associate, actually. Yeah. And there he is now. Cyril. Bang on time as usual. Punctuality, boys. Bear in mind. Oh, and uh, try to make yourselves a bit busy with you. Cyril, how the hell are you? Thanks for coming. Christmas is over. Yeah. The epiphany. Three wise men. Oh, um, gold, frankincense, and mirror. <laughs> you know, Ellie used to say Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's in her room reading. Hmm. Um, it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, can I have it? I, I can take it back home to Brendan. Hmm? This is the first time I've I've called it home. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Oh. <laughs> Just take them on. Hello? Renee, hi, it's Maraid. No, hi, Maraid. Um, is there any chance you can come in on Tuesday? I'm not scheduled to work Tuesday. Yes, I know that, but Angela has a hospital appointment that day and I could really use you. It's very short notice. Well, do you have something else on? Bob might have arranged something. I'll check with him. All right, well, as soon as you can. Yeah. Yeah, of course. All right, talk to you then. Bye. Hmm. Are they all right? Yeah. Red wants me to work Tuesday. And is that a problem? No. But that's not the point. Her tone. Like she expected it. She says jump and, and I'm supposed to. No, that's not on. I'll turn those cartoons off now if you keep messing. <laughs> well, do you hear me, idea? We were talking about Dervla. Oh, yeah, well, Tommy better keep a lid in her as well. Yeah, well, that's what I said. Mm. Uh, I'm sure he will. Anyway, what's, what's your idea? So, Tommy's going to say that uh, I'm his oldest friend, his best man and, and Junior's godfather, and that he wants me there at the clinic. Wait, I don't think that's a very wise thing to do. No, it is a good idea, man. And Orla agrees with me, right, love? You agree? Yeah, well, no, she's going to say that she agrees, you know, in the clinic that she, she wants me there. You know? and, and you do want me there, love, right? Of course I do, but do you not think it's a little suspicious? No. No, won't you? You're making up stories with Tommy and, and you anyways. You just... You make up a story about me. Come on, love, please. Hello. Hello. There we go. Three recycles. Yeah. I better put the dinner on. And I'll eat them on and all that. <laughs> it's great you think of Brazilla's home. Oh, that's because Brendan is there. And I really want to go home, ma'am. Of course you do, love. Mm. But Ellie has to make up her mind. I mean, the, the schools are starting if she wants to go. Will I talk to her? I, I should, I'm her ma'am. No. But could you help me find good words? Well, what do you want to happen? I want to go home and I want her to be happy. Those are good words. Hey, hey. Listen, now, watch me change. Want me to take a look at it for you? Oh, Will said he'd do it. If it doesn't work out, give me a show. Thanks, I will. See ya. See ya. Just ask her out. Oh, she's a lot going on at the moment. You know, 
shop and flat. Better to just wait a while, let things settle first. Okay. And Laura's okay with this? Yeah. yeah she, look, she wants me there. I'm not gonna say anything. I, I wanna be there for Orla. Well, you're supposed to be there for me. Hmm? Pal's going way back. Let the God come on, something's going on. They won't. I know more about the whole wedding hanker story than you do, anyway. Or is okay with us? Good. So, where do we meet? There's Dervla. We're supposed to be meeting for a drink. I'll call you later. Okay, but we, we keep it simple, right? So we met at football or school or something, yeah? Yeah. So, it's a property development scheme, and they're looking for investors in a few weeks. And? Well, Dad's ahead of the posse. Bingo. Yeah, no, what I meant was, isn't that what screwed everyone back in 2008? Well, not everyone. Exactly. A lot of people made money. A lot of people lost money. Smart people held on to it. And I am, as Ushin said, ahead of the posse. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, which is fine if you've money to invest, but you don't, mm. do you? I have assets. Well, what does that mean? It means I have to talk to my accountant, but it's all, it's all pretty exciting, though, isn't it? So, uh, what took you to Vancouver, then? It's the furthest you can get from Toronto and still be in Canada. What happened in Toronto? Nothing. A boyfriend who didn't turn out to be so friendly in the end. What does that mean? Was he violent? No. So what happened? Boy meets girl. Boy cheats on girl. It's boring. I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about my brother. Half brother. That you have rights, you know. Dad, will you listen to Dad, me? wait. It's your son and he's ill and that's really stressful, but giving him up like this, are you sure that's what you want? What I want is for him to be well. That's all that matters. That's all that matters now, I understand. But when he does get well, in the future... Look, here's to he doesn't know anything about this. Me being the father, or how serious Junior's illness is, all right? Fine. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey Doug. <laughs> so, what would you like? Tommy, yourself? Yeah, uh, I don't uh, Do you want to go into town? I wouldn't mind seeing what's changed. Sure. Yeah. See you, Adam. OK, look. Dad, think about that. Later tonight, treason and treachery are at the heart of our War of Independence drama all-new series Resistance at 9.30. Then tomorrow we're behind the scenes with the people who perfume and pamper the nation. It's all-new one day making Ireland beautiful. <laughs>